This video will cover the topic graphing a linear inequality on the number line. To graph a linear inequality, we highlight all the values on the number line that make the inequality true. Let's break it down. Here's an example of a linear inequality. A is less than negative 3. In order to graph this, we want to highlight all the values on the number line that A can equal while still making this inequality true. What's an example of a point that would be on the graph of a is less than negative 3? Well, negative 5 is less than negative 3. So negative 5 is one value that we would want to have highlighted on the graph. However, there are other values that could work as well, and we want to graph all of them. To do this, first we plot the point a equals negative 3 with an empty circle. Sometimes I've seen a filled in circle instead of an empty circle. What's the difference? Well, a cannot equal negative 3, since negative 3 is not less than negative 3. It's equal. However, a can take values that are very close to negative 3, like negative 3.1. So we use an empty circle to represent this. We use a filled in circle when the variable can equal that value, and an empty circle if it can only take values near that point but can't actually equal it. So if it said a is less than or equal to negative 3, instead of just a is less than negative 3, we would fill in the circle. But since a cannot equal negative 3, it can only be less than negative 3, we don't fill in the circle? Right. Now we can decide which side of this point should be highlighted on the number line. We know that only values less than negative 3 will satisfy this inequality. So we want to highlight all the values less than negative 3, like this. And now our graph shows all values that a can equal while still making this inequality true? Right, so we're done. Can we try one more example? Sure. Let's graph the inequality b is greater than or equal to 2. What should we do first? First, we should plot the point b equals 2. We should use a filled in circle since b can equal 2 and still make the inequality true. Next, since b can take all values greater than 2, we highlight all values on the number line that are greater than 2. Awesome, you got it! So to graph a linear inequality, we first plot the number on the number line and decide if it's open or filled in, and then we decide which side of the number line to highlight. Sounds like you understand graphing a linear inequality on the number line.